Greetings. We've had eight hours of show prep, that is, eight hours of podcast that did not go up because I did something wrong. I said the wrong thing. It can be very subtle, but with me, it's like, if it's not right, I, I can't produce it. You know what I mean? If it's like 90 minutes of good and five minutes of bad, we can't edit out the five minutes or ignore it. We have to just say, okay, another day. It's always the way it's been for 14 years almost. The Lord always gives me the example of the Tibetan mandala and how they make these exquisite circular, you know, round, perfectly round uh, mandala, tableau, very beautiful with colored sand, very intricate, detailed work that takes them, I don't know, maybe a year. And they do it with sand, with colored sand. It's a very laborious process. And at the end of that year, they sweep it away. Once it's completed. And it's a meditation. And it's a darn good one. Because in that example of the Tibetan mandala, you have all the teachings of God. Oh, well... I'm sorry if you're not from Tibet or you think they're all pagan witches up there. It, it, uh, I'm talking about a certain act of concentration and meditation. I don't expect to find a wide audience for that sort of thing. I'm having a... It's a really the wee hours. It's kind of ridiculous, but on this, this, this date, I'm not surprised that I'm doing this podcast on this date. You'll be getting a lot of them from me. So we might as well start off right off the bat with what the Lord's given me. First of all, blessings to each and every one of you. Uh, may you be healed in your lack of confidence. Thank you. Because that is the main problem. There is a lack of confidence. And there's a, there's a lack of joy. There's a great worry. There's a great fear. Time for the fierce prayer warriors. People that just won't settle for a loss, a wash. See, along with the Lord wanting us to take this seriously, I mean, yes. We're going to talk about the fact that it's a flight simulator we're in. Yes, the Lord revealed that to me. But we are to be in it and of it to the extent of believing it, not sitting on the sidelines and not flying the plane because it's fake. It's not the real deal. No, he doesn't want us figuring all that out just so that we can sit on the sidelines or just say, hey, I'm not flying the plane. This is a joke. No, you're going to fly the plane. You got Zeph Daniel here all messy. Okay, looks like more songs are coming from... We had a very nice collaboration with uh, the Phage and Jamie, who are, they're like a team... And I added my, uh, I got to be kind of a part of it and add my production and, I don't know, a bizarre story about a harmonica, but I don't really have time to go, <laughs> to go into it. But a thank you for your, uh, it's been a really nice collab and you know, really nice that you all listened to the tracks and, uh, you know, a lot of you responded on SoundCloud. That's where you can find me, by the way, SoundCloud, at Zeph Daniel. Go ahead and sign up over there, and you can interact on, you can send me messages, you can, it's actually a good way to, uh, because I spend my time there because I'm a musician. There's no point for me being on Facebook, 
or Google Plus. I, I have an account there. I don't really go there. Um, but on SoundCloud, I do because I enjoy listening to what people are coming up with. All right. Boy, this has really been a horrid night. Okay. Lord has given me scripture I'm going to share with you. Praise God for all good things come from Lord. Amen? Anyone disagree with that? Okay. We're going to start with, I'll just start with the psalm. That's always the easiest one. We've got Psalm 104 here. And i got to find the, the actual, boy, there's a lot of psalms, isn't that? Don't you find that the music is the most prominent thing in the Bible? Don't you find that's, that's oh, so interesting? Music, do you realize that music is like the most important thing to the Lord? I guess you don't. My God, people, you're dead. You're dead. You're listening to Babylon music. The song we just did is about interdimensional gang stalking. Okay? It'll feed you. You know what? It's, it's above you. I'm sorry, it's above your ability to, to comprehend. Okay. Go back to um, Paul McCartney. Ah. They did a great job singing and composing and whatever, so I want to... I don't think there's a band name. They should be a band. I don't know what the... You know, some very, very talented geniuses out there. Along with DCP, we got that. We got a lot of great stuff that's one day going to eclipse all the rest of it and the industry and all of it. The last shall be first and the first shall be last. Prepare thyselves for your day is coming. You may not think so today. It may seem impossible. That's why you have to keep a decent attitude. I'm sorry, I've got to preach at you, but I mean, we've got a mess here. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Majesty. Who coverest thyself with light as with a garment. And that's literal. Who stretchest out the heavens like a curtain. And that's literal. Who layeth the beams of his chambers into the waters. Who maketh the clouds his chariot. Who walketh upon the wings of the wind. Who maketh his angels spirits, his ministers a flaming fire. Who laid the foundations of the earth that it should not be removed forever. Thou coverest it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At thy rebuke they fled. At the voice of thunder, of, uh, at the voice of thy thunder, they hasted away. They go up by the mountains, they go down by the valleys, under the place which thou hast founded for them. Thou hast set a bound that they may not pass over, that they may not turn again to cover the earth. He sendeth the springs into the valleys which run among the hills. They gave drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quenched their thirst. By them shall the fowls of the heavens have their habitation, which sing among the branches. He watereth the hills from his chambers. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle and the herb for the service of man, that he may bring forth food out of the earth and wine that maketh glad the heart of man and oil to make his face to shine and bread which is strength, strengthens a man's heart. The trees of the Lord are full of sap. The cedars of Lebanon, which he hath planted, where the birds make their nests for the stork, the fir trees are her house. The high hills are the refuge for the wild goats and the rocks for the, the conies. He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knoweth his going down. Thou makest darkness. And it is night, wherein all the beasts of the forest shall creep forth. The young lions roar after their prey and seek their meat from God. The sun ariseth. They gather themselves together. They lay down in their dens. Man goeth forth 
under his work and under his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are thy works. In wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. So is this great and wide sea, wherein all things creeping innumerable, both small and great beasts. There shall go the ships. There is, the, there is that Leviathan, whom thou hast made to play therein. These wait all upon thee, that thou may givest to them their meat in due season, that thou givest them, and they gather, thou openest thine hand, and they are filled with good. Thou hidest thy face, they are troubled. Thou takest away their breath, they die, and return to their dust. Thou sendest forth thy spirit, they are created. Thou renewest the face of the earth. The glory of the Lord shall endure forever. The Lord shall rejoice in his works. He looketh on the earth and trembleth. He touches the hills and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. My meditation of him shall be sweet. I will be glad unto the Lord. Let the sinners be consumed out of the earth and let the wicked be no more. Blessed thou the Lord, O my soul, praise ye the Lord. Um, we're going to pause right here and let me explain why I believe that the Lord gave me Psalm 104. It's to renew your faith. Look, the world he created. You uh, flat earthers out there, you, you can read that and say, hey, look, there's flat earth stuff in there. Well, however you look at it, that's, you're, you're in a flight simulator right now. It really doesn't matter if the earth is flat or round or whatever shape it is. What's important here is the Lord is the one that creates it. He gave us this, and it's wonderful what he gave us. So on the one hand, and then I have to be clear about this flight simulator thing. This is, this is part of the fall of man, too. Because it's not like the flight simulator is really great. But all this creation is real too, in the sense that the symmetry and tapestry and balance of all things in equilibrium and the wicked ones, the New World Order ones, are out of equilibrium and out of sync. The laws of nature, that will be corrected. I'm here to say a different word. This is to give you hope. You go read Psalm 104 on your own and you realize that all of it is a song. It's all music. The whole thing. Well, people want... You know, I'm, I yelled about this song. I mean, no, you don't have to go. If you're not a music fan, don't, don't bother yourself. You know, I'm just saying that I need to get more music in my life as a listener too and I'm, I found a, finally a great set of headphones that actually makes the MP3 world online and the digital world sound really good. They're active headphones called MoFi's. They look like monstrous things on your head though. They're very unattractive. You know, it looks like you're in traction when you wear them by a company called Blue that makes exquisite microphones. I don't own a Blue but I'm familiar with them. Uh, and it's made the whole listening, I, I have my iPad and I plug those in and then I go around and listen to people's tracks and I got to put together a, some kind of a, so it makes good music sound even better and makes, you know, production that might not be the best because of the active thing, you hear the, it brings the best out in music. I wouldn't use them for mixing it, they sound too good. <laughs> yeah. They will definitely put the best face on whatever you listen to. And they're very expensive. I, you know, I'm very blessed to be able to uh, have them. And uh, nothing else will do for me, though. I'm very critical. I've, I've made a place for music in my life, both as a listener, as a producer, as a musician. I don't think there's anything more important to the Lord than those who sing his praises, and I will say this, those who joyously sing like birds about whatever's on their mind. Especially when it's his people. Yeah, no, I, I had to go ahead and 
clue that in the last song called Wayward Hughes by the the phage and uh, Jamie. Well, if you get online with me, you'll you'll see their song there, and then you can go follow them. He he did a great song about the Lord. I mean, his his lyrics, and it was about the interdimensionality of the gang stalking, which is, by the way, so weird because that is exactly what we're going to talk about today. Because I can't just let say the word flight simulator and leave it there. The Lord has blessed me with an answer to what happened in high school that I've been seeking for all these years. My God, all these years, I, I didn't really understand when they took their masks off. And then he showed me how... Uh, well, before I get into that, that'll be the whole topic today. You can't just drop that and then not make it the whole topic. Okay, so we got uh, Psalm 104. Read this on your own. I want to just be very obedient here to the Lord. We got Micah 2. Here we go. Woe to them that... Yeah, this is heavy stuff. This is what the Lord just gave me. Psalm 104, Micah 2. And Jeremiah 50. Not necessarily the whole chapter, but that's where I've been led. I'm going right to you. As I go to it, you're going to it. He gave me specifically, it was just like, you can't mistake it. Okay? Very specific. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Oh, boy. Stop right there. Yes. The most work the witches do against the brethren, against the anointed of the Lord, is done in their bed at night, in the middle of the night, three in the morning. Just so happens to be the time I'm the most creative. I'm, there's a reason I'm on the case right now. <laughs> yes, I'm here to thwart that rather than give in to it. And they covet fields and take them by violence. Oh yes, it's a big system. And houses, and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. This is the Pope. This is the New World Order. And this is Obama. This is this chapter. Right here. Micah 2. It is exactly what we... we oh my God, let's let it... Pro, uh, let's go. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, against, behold, against this family do I devise an evil, from which you shall not remove your necks, neither shall the, ye go haughtily, for this time is evil. Yes, it's a very evil time. In that day shall one take up a parable against you and lament with doleful lamentation and say, we, are, we be utterly spoiled. He hath changed the portion of my people. How hath he removed it from me? Turning away, he hath divided our fields. Yes, we have been divided, my friends. Is this not the most amazing scripture you've ever heard? It, <laughs> it, it's something, isn't it? It's very, very interesting. Therefore thou shalt have none that shall cast a cord by lot in the congregation of the Lord. One more time. Therefore thou shalt have none that shall cast a cord by lot in the congregation of the Lord. Prophesy ye not. Say they to them that prophesy, they shall not prophesy to them, they shall not take shame. O thou that art named, the house of Jacob is the spirit of the Lord straightened, are these his doings? Do not my words do good to him that walketh uprightly? Amen. Even of late my people is risen up as an enemy. You pull off the robe with the garment from them that pass by securely as men averse from war. The women of my people have you cast down from their pleasant houses. From their children ye have taken away my glory forever. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, and it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. 
If a man walking in the spirit and falsehood do lie, saying, I will prophesy unto thee of wine and strong drink, he shall even be the prophet of this people. False. I will surely assemble, O Jacob, all of thee. I will surely gather the remnant of Israel. I will put them together as the sheep of Basra, as the flock of the midst of the fold. They shall make a great noise by reason of the multitude of men. The breaker has come up before them. They have broken up and have passed through the gate and are gone out by it. And their king shall pass before them and the Lord on the head of them. The great divide. And also in that is contained, the Lord will not stand by while his people are just taken hostage and taken away, yet they have been divided and spoiled. We've been divided, they're coming after your property, your freedom, my God, your children, most of all, to harm them, to pervert them, to destroy them, to take and scalp their souls. It's not about carnal acts. Well, that can be horrible. Believe you me, I know that. But that's not really what it's about. I could, people that are violated that way can become very cynical, very, you know, very, uh, uh, they seem very precocious. <laughs> Every time I see uh, little Hollywood actresses, you know, little girls acting like they're 40, it's like, oh God, yeah, they've been through the ringer. Sure. That's why they act so sophisticated. They don't have a childhood taken away from them. Okay? Don't you know that? Or do you watch, you, people used to watch the Johnny Carson show, and there'd be these child actresses on there, and, and actors, and they would say the darndest things because they're so precocious, they'd fit right in with the, with the rest of the adults on the couch there. Well, at least some of us know why that is. But America thought that was cute, and they applauded. That's how idiotic they are. My God, how, is, there, is there a law against stupidity? Maybe they should just be, you know, maybe this whole New World Order thing, this anti-human thing, which is what it really is, uh, it, maybe it's there because there's some kind of cosmic law against stupid. Right? Time to clean it up. You know, they have no souls anyway. They're not who they were. And he gave me Jeremiah. I hate how this thing goes in alphabetical. I'm used to, to doing, the, doing it in the order because I know the order, but they put all the books of the Old Testament in alphabetical order, which throws me off. Okay, so we go to 50. A lot of people say this is a judgment against the United. No, we're going to discover what it's about. Here we are. The word that the Lord spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet. Okay, declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. Say Babylon is taken. Bel is confounded. Muradak is broken in pieces. Her idols confounded. Her images broken in pieces. Far out of the north there cometh a nation against her, which shall make the land desolate, and shall uh, none shall dwell therein. They shall remove. They shall depart, both man and beast. In those days and at that time, thus saith the Lord, the children of Israel, Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah together, going and weeping. They shall go and seek the Lord their God. They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces thitherward, saying, Come and let us join ourselves to the Lord in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. My people have, lo have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned uh, them away uh, on the mountains. They have gone from the mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. All that found them have devoured them. And their adversaries said, We offend not because they have sinned against the Lord, the habitation of justice, even the Lord, the hope of their fathers. Remove out of the midst of Babylon and go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans and be as the he-goats before the flocks. For lo, I will raise 
and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man, and none shall return in vain. Now, what comes to mind here, continuing from Micah, continuing from Psalm 104, is that the Lord is very much in control of this earth. Babylon has taken, I know, you know, in a sense, the Jews and the Christians, and anyone else who may believe, have been uh, sold a bill of goods. Meaning, the institutions are Babylon, have taken away... No, I know I applied then, but I'm just saying this is the rhema that's coming now. And I'm applying it, saying, yes, Babylon has us captive. Has the whole world captive. The Lord will smash Babylon. And I hate to say it, but I think a lot of you are thinking what I'm thinking. And Russia is going to be a part of smashing Babylon. So there's a big war of brewing. That's all I could see in reading that is war, 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 but everything, and I'm going to move away from that because I don't want to get all, no, because we're not supposed to, I will go into that later, but we can't, we just have to take all that scripture right now and distill it into a, a vision. The Lord made this earth and everything in it, i.e. we're to take it seriously, we're here, we're to take our lives as a blessing. Because the alternative is non-life. So it's a blessing. And I'm going to shut these scriptures down right now because I want to take them as a gestalt, as a whole. So don't get all caught up in the divining. Too many Christians out there are, are really use the Bible and the scriptures and everything else as a divining rod. Let's not do that, please. I've been through enough of that. Thank you very much. So, what does it mean? The Lord made all things. He made this. He made you. He wants to release you from Babylon. He wants you to thrive. He wants you to be restored. You've been beaten. Your families have been destroyed. You've been cast out to the four winds. You've been pummeled by everyone, i.e. gang stalking. Because you're lambs. You're his remnant that's been, that were caused to go astray by the religious leaders of the world. They made you go astray. And you've been forlorn, adrift and wandering. Not having any anchor to anything being conquered, being abused, being hurt, being thrown away, not being respected, being mocked. Are you starting to understand what the Lord is saying to you? I'm starting to understand how he is the Almighty and he is gathering you right now. Have, have you noticed that? Have you seen just the glimpses of it? Of course you have. Of course you can see things have changed. Hallelujah. Of course you can see the Lord loves you and is rescuing you even now. Why would he give me those three scriptures? He didn't tell me to read the whole thing. It's just like read whatever hits you. I, I couldn't stop because the Lord was telling us a story. And this is that story. That he is here and believe not their, their prophets for through their false prophecies they have led you astray online. Online! You have been led astray online! Online! You have been led astray online! By people that you thought were alternative to the Babylon. And they were Babylon. I'm sorry. But it's just because of your pride is no reason to keep going with it, right? 
anybody hears this, you wake up and you be free, you be happy. Come on. Haven't you had enough misery? Haven't you had enough with these carnival barkers? Haven't you had enough? I stayed silent for a time, even for the last week. It wasn't for a lack of trying. I was there three times in a row, but those three times I was, I was told it wasn't good enough. I made a mistake. And it had to do with the, with the theme of gang stalking. Uh, the victims of which, whether they know it or not. I mean, I've talked to victims who say, I'm an atheist. They just start laughing. <laughs> right you are. Well, the other atheists don't think so. And that's what's important because they're the ones stalking you. I'm so sorry, but we're about to reveal what it is. Well, I yelled about this song because I thought, wouldn't it be cool to have a song about this topic and um, about spiritual warfare? Because gang stalking is spiritual warfare. It has to be combined or else you lose, lose, and lose. And, and you, you, you don't want to be harmed. You've got to understand it's spiritual warfare. The gang stalking is orchestrated from another dimension. And it's, it's, it's your, you know, it's inside your head too. You've got to understand that or you're never going to get, it's not some external scientific thing that can be studied and we can have group therapy. No, we can't. They, well, I have an implant. Well, it's got, you know, the people get implants. I'm serious. And they, and one day they have it and the next day it's not there. I mean, that's what you're dealing with. There's an interface with the physical. Yes, we're going to get into that. First of all, and then that ties further into the whole story that you have all this talk about there's an awakening going on, but all these shills out there trying to spin this flat earth thing, you know, discussion into, you know, where it could, could lead to an awakening. They want to make sure that awakening of what it is never occurs. Every one of you is welcome here, whether you say atheist, Buddhist, Tibetan Buddhist with the beautiful mandalas, and meditating on the bones, I understand all that, by the way. All of you are welcome here. You know, you, you, I have my faith, and I'm not going to back down or not going to become ecumenical about my faith, uh, but you're all welcome here. I love you all equally. There's, 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 if you're tuning in at all, it means you're quite potentially belonging to the Creator, meaning that you will, you know, you did not, you do not belong to this matrix world system thing. Now, who are these people here? Trish, I don't think I can contain this within one hour. Okay. I'm sorry. This is such a big topic. I failed three times in a row because I, there was something that just wasn't quite true. I was getting there, but it wasn't quite revealed to me. Now, overarching all of this today, you have the Lord God promising you to deliver you. And you get delivered to something like this only without them, which is something that's being talked about on, out there online with people that are from a more secular point of view. But everyone is sensing some kind of awakening and shift. At two, 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 and I can explain this, but it's, it, it's, it's so difficult because you see, you can wake up tomorrow. I mean, what we're in right now is like a dream state, okay? But it's not. It is, but it's not. And, um, and it's it, every day, the paradigm, you know, the thing you think is a paradigm isn't. It's really just your own perception of your own world and, you know, some other things. And you see people there that are not necessarily the people that were there before that look like the same people. And same with your family and same with your kids and same with everything. And you start seeing the uh, interchangeability of it all. And it starts freaking you out because you see that. And then, of course, it starts, you know, that when it turns on you, then it's like, in a sense, you've turned on yourself. Uh, those of you videotaping your stalkers when they drive up to your driveway, and I've had plenty of those. I've had, like, vans that if I went too close to the drive, I think they would have just kidnapped me. You know? <laughs> it's terrible. This was in the 90s. But, I mean, this is, it's, 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 you could not tell me a story that I haven't seen. I've seen the other dimension, first of all, other dimensions. I've seen... Um, during this time of gang stalking, the season of gang stalking, I have seen 
other worlds right next to this one. And I bled through, I could see they were, uh, you know, a place where people were going from this world into that world and back and forth. And, and th these are not people. These are demonic creatures in, that look like people, I suppose, to a certain extent. But they have this whole network and they surround all of you all day, every day. You're being tracked and monitored and followed, but not from this dimension. Well, they're catching up here, but I mean, it's, it's, it's really another dimension. You're part of a, of a whole giant thing that, is, um, that you will be delivered from. And when you are, it'll be like being delivered out, you're waking up from a dream and everything is, and it never, have, and it never has been. None of this will have ever been in your futures, just like it is not now, yet it is. And you're starting to, you know, you've got to think spiritually here to follow me. You've got to get into the spiritual multi-dimension kind of consciousness to follow me. But that's easier now for us than it was, say, you know, a couple years ago. So maybe, you know, I think we're ready for this revelation. All right. So in high school, well, you know, when, when I got to a certain age, it seemed that all these people weren't the people that I knew. They kind of took their masks off and they were pure evil. Peers, cousins, uh, everybody. They changed, or I changed, the world I was in changed. A quantum leap into some other world where everyone looks the same, but they're not. And I kept my mouth shut on that for a long time because I, it freaked me out. I mean, I, I'm just a kid. How, I can't handle something like that. You know, it's, it's, it's me that must have the problem. And I said, yeah, I need help. I, obviously, I've, and then eventually I was convinced that there was nothing like that. And there's no such thing as satanic ritual or satanic ritual abuse and all that. It was just, um, it was just a delusion. Now, let me tell you what had happened. When these people gave their consent to, you know, the devil, Satan, the matrix, whatever you want to call it, but gave their consent to the ones controlling us, which if you're more atheist, you can at least go that far. You want to have an archon thing going, that's fine. A demon thing, that's fine. It's all the same thing. Hey, here's the thing. They really aren't the same people. Then when you resist them, you realize you're not one of them, and then they can't handle the fact that going back to like John Carpenter's They Live, you know, here's one that can see, and then they stalk you. Even if you're not saying anything, but they just have a perception of you're not one of them, then, you know, sorry, you're the T.I., you know. And they, they do this with the entire human population, but surreptitiously, because what they are doing is using the entire human population as some kind of a battery that feeds their power. The human, you know, I've been used as a human battery too, and boy, that's, that's painful. By people I didn't have any idea they were doing that. It's because they don't have their own anymore, so they need you, and they can't feed off each other, so they need fresh, you know, they need you, obviously, to keep going, which is an abomination. So a lot of people in this country, too many to sustain it, sorry, but I told you this thing is uh, pretty much done, right? But it's okay, the Lord's not done, the earth's not done, the, the situation is about to change. So I fought that and, and, and they, you know, they would manifest every once in a while, scare the crap out of me, and then I, I just tried to, you know, keep my head down and just kind of tried to grin and bear it, you know? And I just, I, I had to wait until I had an answer, which I now have. I have the answer to the whole thing. There is no real mystery here. Further, what happens to them when they give their consent is their souls are taken from them. In other words, that, that you knew when you were kids that person you knew 
is no longer because they scalped his soul. He's like a tape recording of himself. He's, he's got a lot of the traits and you know, you can have a couple laughs and have a couple beers, right? But it's not the same exactly. And indeed, he is of the hive and is being given instructions on how to deal with you. Because through his eyes, they see you and they triangulate around the target. Two cases in point. One, my friend, the Sweet 16 party, he becomes 16, and, but sometime during that year of being 16, not on his birthday, he gets this shiny new BMW. It's red, I think. And I just thought that, I didn't know anything about them, but I just thought that was the coolest car. And he just got it, and I said, well, what was the occasion? They just laid it on you, huh? Well, what for? And I looked at him, it just wasn't the same. He was acting all different. He used to be like always cracking up and had a great sense of humor and he loved music, he loved philosophy and he would always quote philosophers and he was just kind of like a real interesting, um, good friend. But, I, but th there was a wall between us suddenly. And it, like he was in another world that I wasn't any part of. And indeed, that's exactly what happened. But further to that, he was not the, 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 the boy that I knew when we were boys. He wasn't that boy. You know, he was, but he wasn't, if you know what I mean. Well, later in life, I had a, a reunion with him, you know, that after many, 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 many years. And he seemed fine, but he seemed like that, the same lad that was in the car with that little wall. And I'm like, what the, you know, you, you got this wall and you got a couple, there's a couple other friends from school too that were, you know, I saw that uh, at the beach, we went surfing and, you know, we, we, but, but the, 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 they started stalking me. Not, not in an overt way, but I mean, you could tell they were on one side and I was obviously the target or on the other. They're not telling me what they know. They're keeping button lipped and they're just starting to triangulate around me and, uh, uh, you know, start to try to invite me to things and, you know, it, it's weird, okay? It's weird. Well, I discerned what it was and I went my way. I rejected it because eventually I gave him advice. I said, you know, you shouldn't have joined this thing because you'll be as if you never were and you shouldn't, you sure as hell shouldn't have sold out your kid in it. I mean, I, basically when I, when I mentioned that, uh, you know, that you don't have to sell your kid out. Um, he never talked to me again. He was so offended, and I thought, you know, maybe he wants to kill me. But the, what I told him was the truth and was the right thing for him to hear because his life went down the tubes. His wife, during that reunion, she was just weep, weeping and sobbing. And it, the reason why, it, and, and Trish was trying to console her, and the reason why she was weeping and sobbing like that is because, you know, this man is not the man she, she married. It progressed. He became, you know, one, and then one time he manifested like he wasn't, there was nobody, there was another guy there. It wasn't even him. And then he looked at his watch and it was like, it's 10 o'clock. Like, I'm supposed to know what that is the next day. I was stayed over at their house. And the next day it's 10 o'clock. Like, I, I, I have to robot. He was like a robot. And it's like, oh, and that, that means we have to leave. Exactly. You know, it was a robotic thing he did. And it booted us out, booted us out at 10. It was exactly at 10. He had to make sure it was at 10. And this man was not who I, the boy I knew. Right? He wasn't the same spirit, that, that soul. Something happened. And then the mask came off there. And I saw he was more like a robotic figure. Now, I know that he and another friend, they had problems with their wives, and they would go down, they had a condo down in Cabo San Lucas, and they were down there drinking or whatever, trying to drink their woes away. Well, maybe with each other they can be more honest. You know, but both uh, supposedly, then the weird thing about it is, you know, both these people claim to be, uh, to love the Lord. But you see... One of them told me, and this is another guy in the same sort of familial, you know, the same group. He told me, 
well, after what happened to you, I, I, you know, I, I, I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't, I couldn't do what you did. I mean, the world just smashed the crap out of you, ruined your life. So I did have that particular. I said, well, I didn't do anything. I just, you know, I was just trying to get my way through. I didn't. I don't even know what you're talking about. And then, of course, that's the end of the discussion. Right? We never get a full discussion from these people. Okay, so I saw them taking souls out of kids, and then they would be just like my friend. This same kind of thing, but not the same, and they went home to their families from this, like, uh, psychiatric thing I was in for, you know, briefly, um, till I ran away, till I realized what they were doing. There was, there was, there was a, uh, and this is in Los Angeles, and there were, there were kids that would come in with the same affliction. They're being gang stalked, they're being followed, they're being, you know, this and that. They're, they become aware of something. And the next thing you know, there's a change that happens to them, and they go home with their parents like nothing ever happened. I know a lot of you know what I'm talking about, but see, you're not going to say anything because you're scared to death of this topic. But this topic is the topic that is the world and will determine what kind of life you will or will not have. Therefore, it's a fairly important topic. Since there is no other topic in your life, you might as well focus on the thing that's actually driving you. Because whatever side of this equation you're on, you're being driven. You're being controlled. You're being lied to. You're being destroyed. Either way, either side you're being destroyed. But there is a dividing line between the light and the dark, the truth and the lie. <clears throat> it could not be more clear today with this blood moon is, ma is making... Now, do you remember when I told you the Lord's gathered the sheep and the goats? Don't you see that now? The great divide that we heard about uh, in this word today. Don't you see how he's doing that? Don't you see how he regulates all this? Well, indeed, you know, um, obviously, that was all, you know, and from that period of time, and I, of course, I, I wouldn't, I mean, I didn't even know that, I, I really didn't understand what was going on. To me, they all, like, looked like they were in another place and that I was in another place, and yet I was, I understood that it was interdimensional back then, but I couldn't put it to words because the actual, one day they would be a certain way and the next day they would be these ghouls. And indeed, it was like switching the movie set. Okay? And then I learned later that the movie set is switched every day, all the time, all day long. But you think it's a contiguous line. It is not. Now, there's a line in the song we just did. This is all synchronous, so you've got to be with me. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm the only one that can actually put all this together here. So just, But you're just going to have to be patient. The song we just did. Uh, Gary, the, the, the composer of the lyrics, he, he said, he had a line, I asked him about it, I said, you know, what exactly is this song about? Because I, I don't know this, this young man, and I'm, uh, so I'm trying to find out for myself, because I read it one way, there was a line there that goes, the persons that you see are not the persons you knew. I said, Gary, does that mean, and then I told him what I thought it was, he goes, it's exactly what you think it is. So here's a young man who figured it out before I really could put it all together. He's figured out the interdimensionality of this problem, of this stalking, of how these people, it's really a spiritual battle, but you know, they've, they've put labels on it, there's shills out there trying to guide it into this therapy meeting. You can't solve it with therapy. I gotta show you how there's this other dimension that is, that is part of it. You just feel like we're in a matrix prison that's being uh, ruled by another dimension. Yes, that's correct, but it is more to it than that. So these people are not the same people you knew. And that's really the theme of the song. Of uh, We have a, a gal that sings the, in it. That, I mean, he sings a, a blues kind of voice, and then she comes in, Jamie, and she sings a uh, almost like part Greek chorus, part, you know, Gaia, part, I don't know what, you know, but it's, it's creepy because I know what it means. So, you know, and then she's saying, you know, this is the ride, strap yourself in. It's like, well, wait a second. No, 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 no. You do not tell me what ride I go on and what I don't go on. 
You know, we have free will. We have the Lord. And we're in a situation that's really kind of messed up. But on the one hand, the Lord wants us to, you know, Psalm 104, to love all the, to acknowledge him for all this beautiful creation, this the beautiful firmament, the moon and the light and the dark and the animals. And I just, you know, I, I, it's just so magnificent, Lord. And yet at the same time, this thing that we're under, this yoke of, Slavery, this yoke of oppression, this yoke of evil that has, you know, descended upon us and divided us in our teenage years so that the kids go with the devil on that side and the ones that belong to the Lord have mercy on them because they've been pummeled, Lord. Just like you said in your word, they've been scattered. They've been held captivity in Babylon. They've been followed. They've been stalked. They've been lied to by pastors who say they're sharing the word of the Lord when it is not.